Hello again. Today you are going to learn how to get email addresses from people that are joining your Facebook group. This is a pretty uh, well-known marketing tactic uh, to grow your email list using Facebook groups. There are a couple of tools out there like uh, Group Funnels and Group Ninja, which help people do this, but uh, those are paid tools. And honestly, I didn't even know about them uh, when I created this uh, method. Uh, and it's free. So it uses a couple of Chrome extensions and a spreadsheet. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Everything else. Well, and Zapier, of course, like most of my videos. Uh, but yeah. Uh, and if you're interested in learning more about uh, different ways to automate your business, uh, please hit that subscribe button below as I put out regular videos on stuff like this. So uh, let's dig into it. So Basically, the the prerequisite of this is that you have some entrance questions set up on your group. So you can see here, um, I'm going to have to obviously blur some of this because there'll be personal details, but you can see we have three questions. Uh, this guy has answered all of them. The first one is simply saying, uh, just write okay in the box to say that we're, we're just trying to keep the group uh, free of people. Um, just joining and not answering any questions. So they literally just write okay in that box. The second one is the biggest problem they have in their business. So this is kind of a market research question. And the last one is of course uh, our opt-in. So they get a newsletter if they put their email in. Uh, and I'm gonna show you how to get all of that information out. So uh, both the question and the email. Uh, because obviously having that question can be good for market research as well. All right. So if you haven't got that set up yet, uh, go ahead and do that because you're going to need this data um, in the group to be able to manage this. Um, but right now, um, if you haven't seen this page before, this is simply where you come where um, it says, you know, 20 people want to join your group. You click on that link and it drops you into the member requests area. So um, once we're on this page, you're going to need these Chrome extensions here. So it's at, actually at data-miner.io uh, and so these two work together. Recipe, Recipe Creator is their extension for building uh, the extraction tool and Data Miner is for running it once you've built it. So you'll need both extensions. Um, you should be able to get them both from their website. If not, just search for recipe creator and look for that icon in the Chrome extension store. Now, both of these tools are actually really good for a lot of other uh, things as well. Like if you ever need to get information from another website, uh, then you can do it using these tools. So you can have it like go through and pull out lots of data. Um, but in this case, we're just going to focus on Facebook groups. So uh, the process to do that is go over to your requests, your invite, uh, whatever you call it, member requests page. Um, once you're all set up, you'll need to create a free account with these tools. Uh, I'm not gonna, I mean, you should be able to do that by now. So I'll just uh, let you go ahead and do that. Um, then we're gonna click on the recipe creator icon and we're going to go new recipe. So the first step here, um, what kind of page are we on a list page? So this is a list of things. So we're on a list um, and we're going to go over to rows and we're going to basically what a row is, is a group of all the information we're trying to pull out. So um, a row here is going to be basically this line down to this line. So I'm going to go find uh, and you'll see it says hover over our mouse over an element, hit the shift button on your keyboard. Yep. So I'm going to do this. I go find, um, so you can see there, that's what I want. So I'm gonna hit shift. Now, unfortunately it has picked up the div and I guess there's a little bit of assumed knowledge here on HTML, but this is every page, every element on the page is a div. So just about, so if I tick that, it's going to say, oh, this is all the data we found. We don't want all of that. So I'm gonna untick that and view the HTML. And what you can see here is inside that top level div, there is a class called 42EF. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to put a dot, which is the representation for a class in HTML and paste that in. And you'll see it's gone and found all of those items. Uh, you can it's put a green box around them. Um, it has got some other stuff there um, like this one and this one, but we can pull that out later very easily. 
So I'm going to go to confirm and move across to columns. And I'm going to try and now I've got to try and highlight the data that we want. So if I go find again, press shift on this one, it ha and then see this is this is what it's pulled out. So if I try try this one, I click it, you can see it's highlighted. Oh look, everyone's name. So that's perfect. That one's going to be a name. I'm going to confirm, call this one name. I'm going to add a new column. Now we want the questions. So I'm going to click find again and try and highlight on something. So let's just pick the first one and I'm going to go shift and it's come up with this, which normally wouldn't be a good one because it's so broad, but you'll find if I click that, it actually does highlight all the questions. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm just going to leave that selected and go confirm and call it um, questions. Well, I guess it's really answers, but um, this is essentially grabbing all the answers in one blob. So I'm going to go uh, next and you can use these to step through as well. There is no navigation. Uh, then we just need some actions. Uh, and that is because on Facebook, basically if you scroll down, it's going to tr keep trying to load more requests and we need it to do that automatically before we pull out all of this data. And it's got this built in. So we've got this pre scrape scroll to page end. we're just going to add that. Um, and that's it. We don't need uh, to run JavaScript. We can simply uh, jump over to the save item and call this say uh, get group questions, whatever you want to call it. Um, give it a description if you like, and then save. You can run the recipe directly from here, but um, you actually don't need this recipe creator plugin anymore once this is created. So if you want to give this to a VA or something to do like I do, uh, they only need that data miner plugin. So I'm going to use that to demonstrate this. So you click that uh, and we're going to go get group questions and run and it'll pop up this box here. Um, I'll just take that away. As you can see, it's scrolling through. That is that action we created where it's got to scroll all the way to the bottom to make sure it's got all the questions. And I'll, I'll come back once this is finished. Okay, so basically it actually didn't take very long at all. It really depends how far it's got to scroll. Uh, and then it's just dumped this all into a spreadsheet. So now all I have to do is go download uh, to clipboard. And now uh, all we have to do is put this into a spreadsheet. So here is one that I've created earlier. I'm going to delete all of this. Uh, you'll notice um, all I have to do is go uh, control shift paste. And the reason I did that is so it doesn't bring in formatting and all random data, but you can see it's brought in the name as column one and column two are all the questions uh, in one blob. <laughs> so in this case, um, I will just delete this row uh, just to clean it up a little bit. Uh, it doesn't really matter, but uh, then I just simply have some formulas to extract uh, the problem and the email, which I will send to you. Basically, uh, all we're doing is using, I, I, I say all we're doing, but I know regex is a pretty complex topic. Um, this formula will be in the video description below, um, but this you just literally need to copy this into a box um, referencing V3 and it's going to pull out an email address, any email address that it can find from that thing. Uh, if one exists, otherwise it'll be blank. And then in problem, it essentially uh, is just going over the first question. It's looking for, uh, it's skipping over the first word, which is the mid uh, one you can see here. It's looking for the first space and then uh, getting everything from then on and then removing the email. So we were left with the problem. I mean, this might be a little bit different for your use case. Um, you can, you'll have to work that out for yourself as I guess, because there's too many things going on, too many different ways to do this. Um, but now, all we do is copy this, control C, and I have another sheet, uh, which is, and you can basically paste it in here. Uh, and I'm not going to do this just because this, this step is going to vary based on, uh, based on 
what your process looks like because at this point you could just copy those emails directly into your CRM. But what I actually do is paste that into here and then we put an X in this column and Zapier actually monitors this spreadsheet for updates uh, to this uh, sheet. And if it sees an X in this column, then it will send it over to our CRM automatically. So we just run it in batches, we give it a date and, and put that X in and then boom, Zapier picks it all up and sends it into our CRM. So that's it. Uh, that's, that's basically all the steps that we have now. So now that that's all created, the steps to do it are simply come to this screen, run the recipe here, copy the data into a sheet, and then uh, well, into the one with formulas. Whoops, this one. Uh, and it should dump out everything we need and we can paste that into us, import that to our CRM. We'll do that however you like. All right, that is it for this video. If you would like to learn more awesome ways to automate your business, uh, please hit that subscribe button below and I'll see you in the next video.